Hey guys, it's Matt Sloan from Skyfire Consulting here. We are a DJI dealer and we specialize in public safety, uh, so law enforcement, fire rescue applications for drones. And we are dealers for the Zenmuse XT, uh, the thermal gimbal now for the Inspire. Uh, tonight we're going to take you out and do a little bit of nighttime search and rescue uh, demo. So I've got the XT set up, we're on the, uh, on the Inspire 1 here, you can see the beautiful color picture here. I've got my colleague Adam Weaver with me, Adam is uh, part of our company here at Skyfire. So we're going to send him out uh, to be a sort of a lost person or a fugitive who's hiding from us. Uh, we're going to do two different scenarios. So at first we're going to fly out, um, have Adam out there with this full color palette um, and try and see if we can find him. And then we're going to switch on isotherm mode, which will actually just narrow the, uh, the thermal spectrum down between about 78 and 100 degrees so that the temperature of a human body and we should be able to pick him out pretty quickly. So let's get the Inspire in the air and see what we can find. Okay, so we've got the Inspire up in the air, and uh, we sent Adam out to the street, and he's just going to simulate sort of walking down the street. And right now, there's a lot to look at. Okay, so we're seeing the tops of houses. We do see a person there, um, so right away we, we're seeing him. But let's uh, let's take a look. You can see I'll switch between the different color palettes, so you get a get an idea of the different heat signatures that are around. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn on isotherm mode. So again, we're looking for something between 78 and 98 degrees. Let's spin around here. Now, of course, this is the 19 millimeter lens. So this is a, a pretty narrow field of view. Uh, if you were using the 7.5, 9 or 11 millimeter lens, you'd be seeing a lot, a lot bigger field of view. So now I'm just kind of searching around. Looks like we got a person there. We're in white hot mode, so let's switch to uh, let's switch to there. We go. Let's switch to rainbow mode here. Make it pretty easy to see. And there we have Adam walking around. Now, if we zoom in a little bit. Yep, there we go. We can see him running up and down the sidewalk there. You can zoom in even a little bit more. So we lost him behind the uh, eve of the roof there, but there he goes again. Yeah, even behind the trees you can see him. You know, we're seeing him through branches and everything too. It's pretty cool. And then we can just follow him. Now, of course, we could fly over to that location and get a GPS uh, reading as well. So I'm going to come back to my zoomed out feature here, and there, yeah, even on, so the, the key with this is using the right color palette. Uh, you know, I just switched to the red hot color palette and very clearly you can see him moving on there. And of course, the second you see a signature, you're going to want to fly the drone a little bit closer. Get a different angle. We can fly a little bit to the right here. Spin around, of course, there he goes. Yep, so he was hiding behind that tree. Once we move the drone around, it's pretty clear. Now let's go ahead and turn isotherm mode off. And you can see there's just a lot more noise there. So you can still see him. Um, actually, right now you can't see him. But, uh, but you can see there's a lot more color going on there. So it's, it's sort of a little bit more distracting. Once you turn back on isotherm mode, it becomes pretty obvious uh, what you're looking at here. All right, so just to give you an idea of the power of this thermal camera, we went ahead and put the Inspire back up with the X5 camera on there. Uh, so even more light sensitive than the X3. As you can see, we're looking at the same area as where Adam was just running around, and you can barely see anything. I'm gonna bring the uh, ISO way up there. That actually is pretty decent in low light but uh, it's gonna be a lot harder to see if you're out in the field where there's no street lights or anything. Of course here you can, uh, you know, you're getting a lot of ambient light from the street lights in the houses. All right, well we're back from our little test. We brought Adam back in from the field. So sorry buddy, but you've been captured in this scenario. So welcome back. Um, as you guys saw in the video, uh, it, we were pretty able, we were pretty quickly able to spot Adam out there on the street. Um, the color signature didn't pop out as much as I had hoped once we isolated for his body temperature. 
but uh, it was still pretty easy to see them once we got into the right color palette. So really, with all of this stuff, it's going to be a little bit of a matter of trial and error and sort of looking at other people's best practices. Um, all in all, I think it was, it's a great tool. Um, I've really been impressed with it, and uh, like I said, we were able to find you, uh, you know, within about 30 seconds once you were out there. So um, if you're interested in buying the Zenmuse XT, give us a call uh, or check out our website, skyfireconsulting.com. You can email us at info at skyfireconsulting.com. Uh, or we'll actually be out at uh, some of the bigger fire rescue shows this year coming up, uh, the Fire Department uh, Instructors Conference. Uh, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. So thanks a lot for hanging out with us tonight.